Had a big win today. Uh, pretty dominating, actually. Overtime win, but you forced all the action. Uh, you were the one, you know, basically pushing Hamill around. Uh, what's going on, man? I, I didn't see you in the lineup for a while. Where were you? Um, I was real sick. Uh, I actually had pneumonia right after Virginia duels, and uh, just you know healed up. Took some Coach, time off. Man, baby. <laughs> took some time <laughs> off practice. And, That's uh, our head coach. Yeah, it's our head coach. Yeah. And uh, took some time off practice. You know, I actually didn't practice for like two weeks, and uh, just getting back in the room for this last couple weeks and going hard, you know, with Kilgore and Barlow and those guys and Witt. I'm just trying to get back in shape, you know. I, they made me go like a live match, a weight, weight in and everything, and go go whole match with uh, Casey Newberg, and you know that helped me a lot, you know, before this match to get back into it. So, okay, Hamill, uh, I mean, you really just forced the tempo completely after a two-week layoff. How do you come back with such intensity? You know, not just training partners, but mentally, what were you thinking there? You know, if I just forced the tempo, he'll break. What what were you thinking? Uh, you know, a lot of that came from the coaches. Um, you know, they've been pushing me all year to be more offensive, and uh, he just, he's one of those guys who's, you know, pretty good, but maybe he doesn't do a whole lot in some of his matches, and I knew that if I'm the guy moving, then I'm going to be the guy that gets his hand raised. So. Okay. I saw you last time. Uh, you were in the 27 position in the uh, top, in the 33, top 33 guys. Uh, right now, you're probably with the layoff, might have missed and lost some ground, so you're sitting right in that 25 to 35 range. Don't matter if you're 34 or 35, you're not at the tournament. What do you got to do between now and the MAC tournament? You've got, you know, some huge duels left. Because 197 in the MAC is yeah. probably one of the deeper weights. What do you got to do between here and the MAC tournament? Just win, like I did tonight, you know. Uh, just keep going hard at practice, you know. Don't break and you know, when I make myself uncomfortable when I get frustrated. Just work through it and, uh, you know, win my matches. I just have to win. Have to win, huh? Yeah. All right. If you see yourself on the outside looking in there, and maybe you you know things don't go your way the next three weeks. You always want to win, but the MAC tournament. Any one of one of you four guys can win the MAC tournament. What's your mentality there? You've never wrestled in that tournament, but what's the mentality got to be there? Uh, it's gonna be a new season, you know. Um, I just have to go in there with an open mind, you know. You know, there's a lot of guys out there. I'm not saying that anyone in my weight, but there's a lot of guys out there that want their season to be over after that, you know. And um, you just push people beyond that that point to where they want to quit, I guess. And you know, just try to win, be tough. All right, how tall are you? Five seven <laughs> and a half. I said five five in the video. No sorry. way. I said five five. But uh, what's your favorite thing about Kent State here? Kent State, uh, Keith Witt. <laughs> Keith Witt. <laughs> no, uh, I just like I like the campus. It's close to home, but far enough away I can be at college. So, you know, it's just awesome. I like the coaches. I like the wrestlers. I like school. A lot of a lot of pretty ladies. Uh, all right, I got I gotta let you get off here because I don't know what these guys are totally unpredictable in the locker yeah. room. But Adam, thanks for the time. Good luck. Hopefully, we'll see you in Omaha. Thanks.